Hello guys, hope you are doing good. Welcome back to another interesting video. As you all know, Indian Premier League, IPL 2024 is going on. So I thought I'll answer some scenario questions based on the current live data up to match 31. We're going to answer a few questions using SQL. So let's get started right away. Okay. So I already have the data as you see. I will upload the, you know, the link of the data in the description. So you can put it to BigQuery and start implementing your queries as well. Okay. So I have this table and I'm going to say order by match num, right? So just to order by match num and see what are the results that have been so far, right? So the IPL season started with CSK hosting RCB, CSK won that game. And, uh, you know, so each uh, match you have the home team, the away team and the team that won, okay? So more recently, for example, the very last match up till the date I'm shooting, KKR was the host, RR was the away team and Rajasthan won, I think, of the last ball. Like, very good chase. So, uh, first question that we are going to try and address. It's very simple. We want to see how many times home teams have won, how many teams, how many times away teams have won so far this season. Okay. So, I'm just going to remove the order by. So, we want to count the number of home wins and also the number of away wins. Okay. So, we already know there is a winner here. Right. So, if a home team won, the home team would be the winner, right? For example, in game one, home team was CSK and they were also the winner, right? So home team and winner have to be the same. So we can easily write a sum if logic. So we can say sum if the home team, right, happened to also be the winner. In this case, we can definitely try to count it. So we can put one. If not, we can say zero, right? And this we can say as home wins. Okay. So this will give the number of times the host won. Now, the same way we want to find the number of away wins. All we have to do is we, we have to say if the away team happened to be the winner, then please count. Okay. So this will give us the number of away wins. Right. Very straightforward questions to start with. Now let's run and see. Right. There have been 31 matches so far. So hosts have won 19 times. Visiting sites, away sites have won 21, I mean 12 times. So, hosts obviously have a better record. So, this is one question, right? Wins by home and away teams. Now, let us move to question two. Here, we are asked to calculate a points table. Up to this point, each team, how many games they have played, how many wins, how many losses. We don't have any net run rate calculations here, but we can still calculate points. If a team won a game, you know they got two points, for example. So, here, we're going to split it into two parts, okay? First of all, we're going to see the places where the home team were the winner, right? Make it as one calculation. And the same way, we can repeat it for the away team, wherever the away team was the winner. And then together, we can combine and try to make a points table. Let us see how this is going to work, okay? So I'm going to say match number, right? And then I'm going to say uh, home team, right? So I want to just select home team. I'll say as team, okay? I'm just going to give it an alias. And if this home team happened to be the winner, right? So then I'll give it two points, okay? Because if they won, they get two points, right? So I can say as points, okay? This is one uh, set of data. So I'm going to do select whatever that is from this table, okay? And now I'm going to add a union distinct, okay? To basically append some more rows of data, but with a slightly different calculation. So in this case, I'm going to copy and put the query, okay? The only difference being the second table or the second uh, query, I want to focus on the away team. And if the away team happened to be the winner, then I put two points, okay? The rest of it is the same. As you see, I'm giving the same alias name, team and team, and points and points here, okay? So I'm writing two queries, as you see. And now what I will do, I will put this whole thing into a C team, okay? I'll say with final as so and so. And then I will say select everything from final, okay? And then I will try to order by team and also match number. Okay. So let's do this and see what we get. Okay. Now we clearly see, for example, each team like CSK played match number one, they got two points, right? They played match number seven, they got another two points. They played match 13, they lost. Match 18, they lost, right? So regardless of whether they were home or away team, what was the result of that game? If they won, they get two. If they lose, they get zero, right? The same thing has happened for all the teams, right? 
So by you know splitting the home team and away team calculations into two different queries, doing a union, we are able to achieve this, right? So now we are pretty much there, right? More or less. So now what do I would need to do? So here I did an ordering. So instead of that, I can simply first select the team, step number one. Uh, then number of matches will just be like a count, right? I can say count star as the matches. Uh, then, you know, number of wins is wherever they got two points, right? So I can say sum of if this points, right, whatever that is, is equal to two comma. So if this is two, then we know it's a win. So I'll put one comma zero. So this will count as the wins. Okay, this is one. Now, the same way, I have to count the number of losses, right? So loss happens when the team got zero points, right? So I can say if points is, is equal to zero, then that counts as losses, right? And then what else? Then the points, points will be simply saying sum of points, okay? As full points, I can give it any name from the table and here I'm not going to do any order by or maybe we will think about it. I'll just group by team first, okay? And we'll see what we get. Okay, now we get like the points. Uh, obviously, I want to see the topper at the, you know, beginning, right? So I'll say group by uh, team and then I can say order by, okay, final dot team should be fine, I guess. Order by full points, okay? And descending, let's see what, what happens. Okay, now we get a clear uh, points table as you see. Uh, RR, 7 matches, 6 wins, 1 loss, 12 points, KKR, CSK and the SRH with 8 points and then so on, right? RCB has 2 points. So if we compare this to the actual points table, so RR, 7 match, 6 wins, 1 loss, 12 points, KKR, 6 match, 4 wins, 2 loss, 8 points and so on. RCB, 7 match, 1 win, 6 loss, 2 points, right? This literally same table we have been able to replicate. Of course, there is no net run rate, but other than that, we have been able to achieve. Right. So this is another interesting question. As you see, we'll do two unions at the beginning, put it into which statement and do the points calculation, right? Simulating a points table. 